at WHO, we are currently developing a new state-of-the-art World Health Data Hub to modernize our end-to-end -end data systems and we hope that all members will join us in this effort to build cross-cutting, innovative and collaborative systems so that everyone, everywhere can have access to health data. Health data represents a person, a place, an event, and it's incredibly important that we're able to bring data together at a global level to begin to understand this in aggregate. And that's where an international partner like the WHO, like Avanad with Microsoft and the creation of the World Health Data Hub, the home for all health data by streamlining that entire data value chain to significantly improve through the processes that we're putting in, the governance processes, the technological processes, the global health data in critical areas like completeness, timeliness, validity, relevance, reliability, accuracy, and more to ensure that all constituents that are engaging with this data and trying to understand the pattern and the insights that it can tell us for their country, for their location, for their city, for their neighborhood, can trust it and make the decisions that we need to make from a global health perspective to protect and advance society. And as I look at the partnership here, WHO has that trusted relationship with member states and a role as the custodian of that data. And then you combine that with the expertise from Avanard, from Microsoft, on modern data governance and securing that data. And when you combine those skills and develop a platform that meets those needs, I think it really drives confidence that we can collaborate and cooperate on that data set and it becomes a global public good that can be shared up and served back to the member states. I would just say that big global problems require big global partnerships, public-private partnerships, like the one that we have between the WHO, Microsoft, and Avanade. And I'll tell you, structuring these partnerships in an effective way to bring something like the World Health Data Hub forward, it's not easy. There's a lot of different moving parts in each organization. And you know, one of my personal learnings, to be very honest with you, is it takes a lot of trust building, relationship building, so that the three organizations know each other, trust each other, know where we're coming from and can work together through the tough issues in a really transparent and effective way that we'll encounter every single day of this project. And so I hope some of the patterns that we've established here in terms of the way that we partner to do this work can be used for other areas in the area of global health and, and even beyond as we work uh, with other partners in the UN system, other parts of the WHO to bring technology to advance social problems. As with any good data program, we want to move away from fragmentation of data or data sitting across multiple systems and siloed. Because as soon as we can pull that data into one common platform, one data lake, it's far easier to manage, to govern, and set the standards that is across all of the data that we ingest. If we don't do that, then there's always a potential for data redundancy or duplication across systems, inconsistency of standards, and maybe inconsistent classification and reporting. Anytime we see in these projects that you have manual processes, manual interventions when handling the data, there's always going to present governance and audit trail challenges. We want to make sure in future, we always know where's the data come from, can that be trusted? And as Justin said before, there's a single source of the truth that everyone collaborates on and is not accessing data from your disparate systems. I think country after country, we're finding out that when you collect good data, it basically shines a spotlight on an area of darkness. And then once you have the light on that, then you can take action. Let's say it's a small country and they have few cases, but if they submit it to this large global data platform, then it becomes part of a very large data set and the more heterogeneous and the broader the data set, the better the conclusions can be drawn from that data. The same thing applies also to research. So let's take um, tuberculosis, for example. There are multiple trials going on in the world trying to look for MDR-TB, the multi-drug resistant TB treatments. It's a, it's a very dangerous disease, it's a killer disease, but there are small studies. If you could put those together and have a larger data set, 
you could again start looking at what are the factors that make it easier for people who have drug resistant TB to get cured and get better. And that can then inform our policy guidance. And as you know, WHO tries to rely on the best possible evidence when we make our guidelines. And one way of doing better guidelines is to have better data, better evidence.